Hello, I'm Lawrence Chard. Welcome to our Chard Coin and Bullion Dealer YouTube channel. Today, we're going to change things around a little bit. And instead of me doing all the hard work and um, telling you things about coins and sharing my encyclopedic knowledge, <laughs> um, joking with me, um, I, uh, we're going to try and make you do all the, uh, the hard work. Uh, it's going to be something in the nature of, uh, of a quiz. So hopefully you'll interact with us and we'll have some fun. Uh, we'll ask you some questions. We'll give you some clues to start with. Um, but what we'd like you to do is pop your answers down below in the comments. You can do that before or after you've liked the video and subscribed. We hope you do all of these things. We'll, we'll explain a little bit more in a minute. Um, Whoever gets the, the most correct answers or most informative comments on there might actually win a, win a pint uh, beer, that is, not whiskey. And uh, if the video goes viral, somebody might win a case of it, you never know. So, let's start off with coin one. I'm going to show you something here. This is a, a classic. Let's have a look. We'll give you a clue here, because if you can have a look, and we're going to show you the both sides of the coin Hopefully, so you can see them clearly and you can, uh, you can see what they are. Now, there's a big clue here. It says 1780. Now, there's a clue. So, what we need to know from you is um, coin one, do you think that minted in 1780? Or do you think it wasn't minted in 1780? And if you think it wasn't, we'd like you to have a guess when it might have been minted. That's easy, isn't it? Eh? So, there we go. That's, that, that's question. Uh, Question 1, 1A, one 1B, one whatever you want. Uh, by the way, what sort of beer would anybody like? No, always tell us. Um, next one. Oh, we've got a couple of us here. This happens to look shiny with a bit of a mirror finish and a, and a satin finish on the lace part of the design. That's a proof one. The other one is a bullion or uncirculated version. And then lastly, we've got one here. And this is quite a tatty looking specimen that's been fingerprinted and in circulation and worn and thrown about um, and these turn up um, you might want to have a guess when that was minted um, there are ways to tell all the dates and even which mint they were made at because there's another thing um, originally they were made at the Austrian mint in Vienna and today nowadays they're made in the oh there's a clue <laughs> giving it away nowadays they're also made at the Austrian mint in Vienna but in between time They've been made by about a dozen different mints throughout the world, including London, and I think uh, the Italian mint in Rome, uh, and a few other places. But this is a tatty looking one, and a strange thing. Um, we sell the minty ones. I don't know uh, off the top of my head because I, because I haven't looked up. Uh, I think we sell those for about 25 or 30 pounds in minty condition like that. Um, but strangely enough, um, we get demand for old tatty ones, and I know quite a long time ago we used to get people who did flea markets and car boot sales, and they'd come in and they'd want all the old tatty ones. And of course, I can guess what they were doing, taking them to the car boot sale, hugging them in a box of junk, and waiting till some mug hunter victim came along and thought, ooh, that's interesting, and spotted that it dated 1780 and it's silver. And I said, oh, how much do you want for that? And then they would probably say, and this is all guesswork from 99 percent of them, right? They would, oh, I don't know, mate, don't know anything about coins. What do you, how much do you think? And the hunter would say, well, give you 50 quid for it. And the store holder would say, all right then. Yeah. And the next day they'd be back buying half a dozen more from us for about 25 quid each. And that's not the only coin that used to happen with. So that, that's interesting. That's... Um, that coin one and section one. This next one is a tougher challenge and we'll show you the gold sovereign and we'll show you both sides of the coin and you'll be able to see. And for those who can't read that on screen, you'll see it says 1925. It's George V, not Albert, as somebody said in a video recently. Um, what you may or may not notice is um, and we'll highlight this here on the screen. There's no mint mark on this um, because the London mint, it, these are London, uh, Royal Mint London uh, production. And the Royal Mint traditionally does not normally use mint mark and never has done. 
uh, lots of other mints, including all the other six mints that ever made sovereigns use the mint mark. And the mint mark on, on the generally goes on the ground line just above the centre of the date. Uh, this hasn't got a mint mark on, so this is London, that's how we know. So, the question for you is, do you think they were minted in 1925? And if not, what year do you think they were minted, or what's the most likely year? That would be fun for you, won't it? Uh, we've got lots and lots more um, quiz coins. So you've got a tray full here, which you can't see, and then we've got a lot more uh, interesting things for you. What I've got here is a gold booth, uh, London Olympic uh, collect commemorative collection issued by the Royal Mint. Uh, and uh, we'll just have a look. We'll hold the first one up here. Now, for now, we're only going to show you one side of this. That's the reverse side. And I think you can stay on that. And in fact, I'll, I'll be, it doesn't say the same, does it? This one says... Uh, Neptune, it's got the five Olympic rings, it says Kittios. Uh What's that? Is that? I think that's Latin for higher. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, and it says London 2012. So the question for you is, what date was that minted and issued? Easy that, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, those two coins, and hopefully you can't see them in enough detail on the video, were also uh, go along with that. That's like a set of three. So you could buy this collection in sets of three. That's also a bit of a clue for the smart ones, so the Sherlock Holmes uh, amongst you. And then we'll pick this one. I'm picking the biggest ones because they're easy to see. And this one says Jupiter Altius. That means higher. What did it say Kittius was? Faster is that? Yeah, yeah. I must push up my Latin, I'm supposed to know this. Uh, but there you go. I don't know anything, believe it or not. <laughs> like to think I do. Um, so, it's on Jupiter, Altius, London, 2012. Again, same question. When do you think that was minted? And then the third coin in this. Yeah, you're guessing. Fortius. And that definitely means longer. London, 2012. Same question. When was that minted? That's about it for the coins, so don't forget, pop your answers down there. You might win a pint. If we have enough viewers, you might win a whole case. Or you might have to come and collect it, but that shouldn't be too bad, should it? There's one supplementary question here. It's fairly well known. Those who have watched this before and are familiar with, um, with some of my other um, information or ravings or whatever you want to call it is i'm 29 years old some people laugh when i say that some people don't believe it but i can assure you i've been 29 years for quite a long time and i'm sticking to great age it's a prime number i'm sticking to it so if you wanted a supplementary question is um was i actually minted 29 years ago or if not what uh, what year and how long ago was I minted? That should be fun. I've already mentioned subscribe. I think you, you've already done subscribe. I hope when you uh, when you added your answers down there. Uh, hopefully you've already thumbed up it. Although you might have um, done it twice to negate it. I hope not. And I um, hope you're going to have fun. We'll let you know the answers uh, later. What we will do is do um, the second in this series of videos in uh, probably a couple of weeks from now. And we might include the answers in there and then we'll have a, a fresh lot of, uh, of quiz questions for you. Hope you liked it. Hope it's popular. And uh, all that for me to say now is uh, hope you enjoyed it and we hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye.